Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on the beta in our sci-fi themed park. I need some help coming up with an idea for a name for this park. The working title right now is Sci-Fi Highway. I don't really like it. I think we can do a little bit better than that. So if you guys have any ideas for the name of our sci-fi theme park, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, drop that like if you are enjoying and want to see more Planet Coaster beta in the future. I'm having a ton of fun with this park, guys. Like, I'm actually a little bit ahead. I already f well, mostly finished the next episode in this recording session. It was great. Uh, I like it. Right now, we're working on the two separate areas right outside here. Uh, we're putting a burger stand, the Chief Beef burger stand, as well as our brand new uh, Cos Cosmic Cow Milkshake stand. Very happy to have our little cow in here now. And I'm doing just two on each side, just so they don't get overly crowded. I mean, we have the space and we have the money because it's the sandbox mode, so not too worried about spending too much money. Uh, so I wonder at what point I will notice that, that <laughs> this building is asymmetrical. I know I do at some point, but well, that wall behind it should be, you know, the same distance as the other one, but whatever, we'll get to it. Again, for this one, not really working with anything in mind. Right here, I'm like, wait a second, <laughs> this looks wrong. There we go. Okay, I did it. Good job, C-Top. Uh, pat yourself on the back, you jerk. Don't, uh, again, don't have really anything in mind for this. Uh, just kind of building what I want to build, see, see what feels good. Uh, there isn't an, a weird bug. Sometimes when you select an item, it'll drop you out of the build menu for the building you're currently selected. So then you have to reselect it and then reopen up the building menu and then reset your filters. So that's kind of annoying. There's a few times in this video where I kind of go, ah, this is really bugging me. You guys can't really see me doing that. Maybe you'll see like the, the mouse shake a little bit in my pure frustration, but seems to be a small bug. Hopefully that gets resolved relatively soon. Or at least in time for the full release. And I don't have any trash cans or benches right now, so people are just dumping crap everywhere. Wait, I guess I, I have trash cans on the inner area, kind of the entrance, but don't really have any over here, so definitely should put some over here. People gotta stop leaving their crap all over my park. That'd be great. Whatever, I guess that's asking too much. Adding some more details, some vents and things like that on the top. I think it comes out pretty cool looking. I think these pieces would look really cool if we change the color of them, but right now I'm kind of just working with the default color scheme that we've got going on here. And it's alright looking. Went ahead and copied and pasted that, flipped it on over to the side, realizing, oh, we need dumpsters everywhere, trash cans, so we're gonna put a whole bunch more trash cans everywhere, just so people stop leaving their crap all over my park. Trying to squeeze in a little ride here. We have this new ride called the Looper. It's pretty cool, so decided we could fit it right in there. Uh, I was thinking about maybe making it like perfectly symmetrical when we put a looper on each side. We actually end up doing a, uh, a different ride over here. We end up putting the cube. So we do a couple flat rides this episode, as well as the uh, the burgers and drink stands that we did earlier. Well, the burgers and milkshake stands. The Cosmic Cow Milkshake. Delicious. I can go for a milkshake right now. Alright, so I wanted uh, basically one block distance between this so I could cover up this grass area. Just trying to squeeze it in. A lot of little movements. Trying to figure out what I want to do here. Uh, there's a couple things that I had in mind for what I wanted to do here. Because I, I do want this area to be very dense. To kind of be able to just fit everything in here. And so what I decided to do here is just have um, this whole area kind of wrapped up. And then we use this really cool wall piece. It's not really a wall piece because it doesn't align with the grid. Uh, but it works pretty well. You'll see what we do in a minute. So putting the entrance and the exit there. Again, it's not super symmetrical, but whatever. Kind of annoying the path system, so I pulled the path back there just so it stopped attaching automatically. And then brought that forward, and then made it in the queue. And look at this, oh, it was being very f annoying. A little finicky, but we ended up getting it to work, so that's all good. Well, let's see, now what am I doing? Okay, trying to figure out how to wrap this thing in a wall. Uh, it won't perfectly fit with the grid, so that was a little annoying, just trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. Trial and error. Again, I don't do things perfectly every time. I'm not perfect, despite my, my, <laughs> despite me saying constantly that I am perfect. No, I don't say that. That's silly. Don't do that. And uh, some people did read some uh, questions last time. They said, hey, why don't you do the uh, real-time walkthrough? Oh, we'll do it when we finish each section. So once we finish this initial spaceport area, then we'll do a real-time walkthrough at the end of the recording. Uh, people are also asking about when am I going to do the tour of the Halloween park. And, I don't know, sometime this week. Either like Thursday or Friday or Saturday, something like that. I uh, just want to get around to doing it, because it does take a little bit of time to film and kind of get that all set up. Parker looks very cool, so I'm excited to show you guys, and we're getting a little far from Halloween, so there's not going to be a ton of interest in this game, but uh, maybe it'll show new subscribers that I am competent in this game and have uh, a few, quite a few parks under my belt as my resume. 
And if you guys are new, welcome. We're getting uh, quite a few subs coming in from this game uh, through the beta release and everything. So I think we did like 500 on the first day. So brand new people, welcome, you lovely people. How's it going? Let me know if you're new. Let me say hi. Let me let me holla at you. <laughs> oh god, making great first impression here. Holla at you? What the hell is this guy saying? I don't know. There we go. Just trying to line up these walls. Again, these aren't actual wall pieces, so they're just scenery. So we just kind of gotta move them by hand. So it's a slow process, but it's enjoyable. I rather enjoy it. I love the robot mascot. They're so cool looking. Oh, they're awesome. And I had so for the next couple sections of the park, I had a couple ideas. Um, we are gonna do a steampunk area, and then I had an idea to do like a western town being attacked by aliens, because we do have animatronic aliens. They teased animatronic cowboys, but they're not in the game yet, I'm hoping they'll be in the full release. Uh, but I don't know if we'll do that, because I'm afraid the steampunk area might be a little bit too similar to it, to the, um, the, 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 the western area, kind of like a western town being attacked by aliens, that was my initial idea, so we might not do that. We'll definitely do something with aliens later, maybe like an alien planet. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do uh, the space-themed area, the spaceport area, that's this. Excuse me. Next, we're going to do the uh, steampunk area. That'll probably be right adjacent to this. And then the other idea is the Fantastic Voyage area, where we're shrunk down and kind of like inside of a human body, through the blood vessels and the brain, things like that. That's going to be tough. I'm going to have to do a lot of pre-work just to make sure that idea will work. And then for other science fiction ideas, I don't know. I probably could fit another section in the park, rather than just those three, so we probably have room for four sections. So if you guys have any ideas for another science, uh, sci-fi themed area, definitely let me know. Um, don't just say like Star Wars or Star Trek or something that's, you know, trying to get a little bit more uh, in depth with your idea. And try and give some ideas of what I could do. So that's much easier than just doing, well that's much, it's much nicer than just saying, oh there's Star Trek, there's Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to do just a single property. Uh, I kind of am doing that with what should I call it? With the um, stupid thing with the oh my god, Fantastic Voyage thing. Oh, we just saw a guy repair right. That was pretty cool. But I, I don't want to do the other things. So I don't, just think of like a, a sci-fi theme, like a subgenre of science fiction. I think would be best. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on that. So yeah, we just saw a dude go repair that ride. So rides break down in sandbox mode, which is a little silly, but whatever. He just runs over to it, so I had to put some maintenance men down, or some maintenance men down real quick to make sure they could get on over to it. Uh, I tossed down some more janitors and stuff, and I do need to put trash cans by the exits of the ride, uh, because if you put trash cans by the exits, apparently guests will actually vomit in there instead of vomiting on the ground, because generally you see a lot of vomit like right there. There's some right there. That's what I'm talking about. There's some vomit right there. The dude was cleaning up, so I gotta put some trash cans over there, so they'll actually throw up in there. That'll be good. There we go, we're getting around to wrapping these things up. That's a good way to kind of cheat the corners, is to put that cool little light post up there. I'm like, okay, this is looking alright. It's coming together, it's nice and dense. I'm a little worried about that choke point right there. Uh, traffic might get a little busy in there, so we might make some other exits on the spaceport, just kind of alleviate that traffic. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we could wrap it around. We kind of cut off the area over here. You'll see uh, what we do next, but it shouldn't be too bad. The traffic should flow pretty well. And again, it's sandbox mode, so I don't, I don't, it's not a huge priority for me, but it would be nice to actually have the, the foot traffic flow a little bit nicer. Over here, this big empty spot, what I wanted to do is something very similar to that we did in Eternity Park, but it'll actually work a heck of a lot better this time now that we have a sci-fi section of our park. So, we are going to do a, uh, a first aid ship, a medical ship, just kind of hovering uh, right here. We're going to make a little landing pad for it. And it's really cool. I like how this comes out. We, we did this back in the Eternity Park. You guys remember in the Far Flung Future section of the park. Uh, but it looks way better here. Oh my god, it looks infinitely better. So, I'm just trying to make like a nice little landing pad here. Just moving those pieces. Just trying to get them barely peeking above the ground. There you go. And now we just get to have some fun messing around with all the ship parts. Uh, why am I making this a blueprint? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I was going to put several ones. That's right. Did I end up doing it? No, uh, I decided this looked good enough. I like that. So there's the, one of the ships that comes in the game as a blueprint. Definitely looks like an elite dangerous ship. Which makes sense because it is a frontier. But I decided, okay, I'll just want to make my own. So here I'm just kind of exploring all the ship parts. This is a good way to show you guys all the different uh, ship parts they have in the game. And I said, okay, we'll do a double decker there. We got some hull pieces in the back. We got some cool engines. We're going to go ahead and uh, 
point those down. So this is how it's going to be hovering. Very, very cool. And then I needed a large hole piece on there somewhere. Uh, so I think we wanted it somewhere on the bottom. Just so uh, that's where the steps would go up to. So we keep looking around. And every time we exit, it resets the filters. That's so annoying. Oh, I wish the filters would just stay. That'd be great. I'm like, okay, that's looking all right. It looks like it could float right there. It's on the ground now, so we will have to raise it. For some reason, I was like, okay, we'll put the path over here, even though it's still on the ground. Selected the wrong thing. Might be. Don't know what I was doing here. Come on, C-Top. Just move it all. There you go, buddy. Okay, we're going to select all this. And we're going to move it up. Up in a V. There you go. And then we got to put the uh, first aid station there. We actually end up finding a cool little, um, uh, like a, the, the, the cross, the little medical T thing. What is that called? There's got to be a name for that. So we end up putting that on there and it makes it pretty cool looking. Adding the stairs. Oh my god, this path is pissing me off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's being so annoying. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to go straight onto the path. It, yeah, we end up getting it later. But it's, it, the path system, it's kind of annoying still. I don't I don't have any days to fix it, so I guess I shouldn't be super critical because guess what? I'm not a game designer. I don't know these things, but oh well Hopefully uh, I'll get a little better. Just covering the sides there trying to make it blend in the ship a little more Looks like a big shark and now we're looking for see people actually using it over. Right? That's pretty cool Now we're looking for the thrusters. There we go. Some nice blue thrusters. Oh messed up the camera there Raise them up in there. Oh, that's cool looking. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the camera there, but check it out We got our hovering Medical facility or our, uh, first aid facility. It's so cool looking. Oh, I love how it came out. I like it. I like it a lot because we're trying to make this feel like a spaceport. And that's the whole general goal here. God damn this pad. Look at this. Okay, there we go. Woo! Round of applause. We did it. Good job, T Top. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was a little frustrating there. And then just trying to cover the path a little bit more here. Try out some different days, make sure it's not peeking off into there. Covering that grass area, because I don't mind some grass, but I do mind some grass, I guess. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Added some more of these cool lights. I really like these lights. I think they're neat. I think they add a lot to the area. Now what am I doing? There we go. Yeah, going to like that. They don't give off too much light. Actually, they give off any? They might not give off any. I'm not sure. Centering this thing around the path. Adding our cool little light features on the sides. I really like the, how those look. They light up the path pretty cool. Well, those dudes are running. Yeah, it's something I'm noticing now in the beta that people actually run. It's pretty cool looking. And for some reason, okay, med ship, I was trying to write on this. Like, it gave me the option to write on that, but then it wasn't letting me. It was weird. And then I stumbled across these pieces. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, no, let's take them off there and put them on the side. There we go. We got our med medical ship there. And then I thought we'd put this little airlock looking dealy right there. Looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how this park's coming out, guys. I hope you are too. I'm having a ton of fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, basically just finishing up here. And then we're going to give you a little bit of a time lapse finishing up uh, the park. Well, just a little time lapse, like transitioning the park. But added some more lights there, make sure everything's nice and lit up. Adding a whole bunch on there. Look at the little robot mascot. He's so cool. I love him. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for this episode of uh, Planet Coaster, guys. Again, if you have an idea for the name of our sci-fi park, or you have another idea for another sci-fi area in the park, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you are enjoying. I want to see more Planet Coasters in the future. Uh, if you want to enter the win, you can head on over to the other video on my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.